Hare Krishna Chaitanya and Charan Prabhu Dandavat Pranam. Wow, I am loving this class and all your answers. I'm learning so much. Uh, I had a question related to um, actually your last answer. Um, I love how you actually categorized it into four different parts and ultimately that at the identity level, we're all spirit souls and we're all equal there. Um, but then you do see that there's inequality uh, at the level of abilities, um, perhaps qualities, and that's where perhaps the Varanasha system, which was not meant to um, put anyone down, but it was just some sort of distinguish of your abilities in society and perhaps what you were by nature best to do. Um, I'm curious then that, for example, today we call it race and perhaps just what we call the machine, the body, and we identify by the color. Uh, for example, I'm Asian body, so I'm yellow and Indian is called brown and then black and then white. Um, did Krishna also mean to distinguish that type of body that you've taken to also perhaps different qualities or abilities. Uh, I had heard, for example, that those who take Indian bodies uh, are very good at austerities. <laughs> and so um, does the type of, um, I guess, the skin color or the type of body also take, um, which we call race, which seems to be identified by the color of your skin, also meant to suggest certain types of qualities or abilities? Or is it just simply just the color of the machine, like, blue versus pink versus yellow okay. and they're all they're all the same thank that's you that's a good question hey uh, does the skin color also indicate some kind of the ability or attribute or psycho psychological nature also well there are some random statements which might indicate like that hmm? say Prabhupada has made in some of his commentaries some at some places but overall if we see that this fourfold division, Varnashram, Krishna says that it is he who has created it. You know? In the sense that it is natural. Chatur Varnam, Maya Srishtam Gunakarma Vibhagasha. Maya Srishtam means that he, through the arrangement of nature, these four kinds of people are there across society. So now imagine a society where everybody, say in Africa or some other part of the world, where everybody is black. Then if, let's say, the black was associated with a particular Varana, then does that mean everybody in that society will be of a particular varana only? And how would that society be managed? It's not going to be like that. So, uh, so there is, so or say if a fair complexion is associated with a particular varana, then does that mean, that, say if a fair complexion is associated with say Brahminical varana, presume. But does that mean that there are no, there are going to be no Kshatriyas, no Vaishyas, no Shudras in that society? Again, the society won't function. So, if we consider that the skin color is now see the Darwinian theory of evolution, we don't accept it entirely in terms of its idea of origins of how everything originated. But the principle that evolution, the prince, basic principle of evolution of adaptation to nature, that that is something which is is an observed phenomena, and that's except that's that's reasonable, acceptable. So based on the kind of atmosphere that are there, uh, there at particular places, based on kind of weather, temperature, and other factors, the human body is evolved in a particular way. You could say, now, evolution could also be a product of design. Now, evolution doesn't have to be what we call a natural evolution. Just like we have, say, artificial intelligence systems, which if you say, have speech recognition, now, when you get a speech recognition device, initially it recognizes some words, but then some words it gets wrong. And once it gets it wrong, you correct it at one time. And once you correct it, then, oh, okay, this is the word. Then it learns it. And next time when you see that word, so now a system which has a fixed vocabulary and a system whose vocabulary expands, uh, artificial uh, speech detection system, which would be, which would be, which would be more useful, obviously the second one. Now the capacity of a system to adapt to its environment or to learn from its environment, that does not mean that there was no intelligence behind it. Actually, it means there's a greater intelligence. That means it doesn't just, uh, just have a fixed level of learning with which it functions, rather it has a fixed level of learning. Also, it can learn more and more further. So the point I'm making is that our body is designed in such a way that there is a basic template, but it also adapts. 
it also adapts to situations so we could say that based on the particular environments people are living in over over, over centuries over millennia certain skin colors were found to be best adaptive for that environment and that's how those skin colors became predominant in those particular areas and do they indicate psychological innate psychological disposition I, do, I haven't seen any particular statement associated with that way because at one level we understand that the soul gets a body according to one's own karma so now in every society there will be diversity of karma in the sense that they even in now sometimes people have this idea that uh, say africans were you know they were brought to america and they were made slaves well that's not entirely true because slavery was there in africa also and it is african blacks who sold other african blacks to the whites so the point i was making is we can't just equate all blacks or all whites to one category so even in blacks there is a hierarchy there might be some blacks who might have been kings tribal heads or whatever and there are others under them who were slaves so so why is this there so if we say the black body or a white body is a result of karma well you could call it but even within black and white there is so much diversity there could be whites who were wealthy and there could be whites who were ter who, who were terribly poor same with blacks so so we can't really equate one physical attribute with any innate psychological quality which is especially favorable or unfavorable for spirituality now as far as india being uh, indians being more capable of austerity there is a certain understanding that because india is a place where a lot of saints were there a lot of avatars of the lord were there so there is a certain amount of sanctity in the land of india but that is not a material ability it is more of a spiritual inclination so we could say that rather than putting it this way that indians have a greater capacity for spirituality we could say that souls who are already spiritually evolved are born in india rather than souls who are born elsewhere so it's not that the body makes them capable of austerity it's rather they are already capable of austerity and then they are born in a particular area of course then because they have already an inclination for austerity they might also have a body which is more inclined for austerity further but uh, to say that the body is the cause of the capacity for austerity might be putting the putting the cart before the horse 